think for anyone who's interested in changing our systems, it's important to incorporate investment and investment capital into the solution. Because um, ultimately, uh, investment capital you know, is the fuel upon which our economic system and many other systems are based. Um, and so ultimately, it's about how do we shift the flow of resources to support a more inclusive, a more regenerative, and more sustainable system in the future. I think many impact investors right now are thinking about the, the future system that we want to have in the world. You know, one that is inherently more regenerative, more inclusive, and works for all people on the planet. There are many, many different ways that impact investors are trying to manifest that. But one thing I find particularly exciting um, is our investments that are made into new models that represent the future system. So it could be um, instruments that have shared ownership, where employees and members of the community have ownership stakes in the assets. Uh, another thing I'm very interested in is like regenerative approaches. So regenerative agriculture where there's embodying this mentality of not investment extracting capital from people and, and the planet, but actually creating value for the, um, for the land, um, for the environment, and for the people who are living on it. This is an incredibly uncertain time where there's a lot of change and dynamism in the market. Um, one of the things that I think is really important for impact investors to have in mind as they're approaching their strategy um, is how to address the poly crisis. And what I mean by that are the multiple crises that are intersecting. So the climate crisis, ecological loss, now the COVID crisis, of course, um, as well as war and all the disruption that comes from that. One of the things I think it's important for investors to do is to connect their strategies to the broader system. How is their work directly targeting moving the needle on a bigger issue, such as food security um, or inclusion? Another thing I think is going to be very critical uh, in the future is um, how to build resilience um, to external and unpredictable shocks. There's just more uncertainty in the world, and it's important that we create that resilience in the businesses and in the communities that impact investors are trying to support. Yeah, one of the things that we think is so important at the gin is that investors are now connecting their strategies and their deals, projects, um, portfolios to the broader need in the world. So when it comes to environmental issues, that could be science-based targets and the broader understanding of what's needed, to, for example, to achieve the Paris Climate Accords. Um, but also if you're investing around social, environment, uh, social issues, um, to really factoring what's needed in a community. Uh, so that can include um, just data on the need for something like affordable housing or the needs of an, a specific um, community and population. Uh, or it could be looking at um, stakeholder voice and helping to use that perspective to inform their investment strategy. When we think about economic systems change at the gin, one of the things that we think is so important is to foster a world that works for all people on the planet. To do that, we think investors need to redefine success. So we're not just looking at financial outcomes, but we're also thinking about impact performance. How do we create value and progress for people on the planet alongside the financial returns to the investor? One of the things we think is so important that combines kind of tech-driven approaches with this new way of thinking is actually analytics around how we understand impact data. And some of the work that we think is so important is how do we build out impact performance benchmarks so investors can have data at their fingertips that help them understand how they're driving results uh, for people on the planet alongside what they're doing from a financial perspective.